AITA for ignoring a guy that wanted my help. I-16F was on a walk. Once I got in my driveway, a car stopped in front of my house and politely shouted, excuse me, a few times. He was sitting in the passenger seat and couldn't have been older than 20. I was scared so I kept walking up my driveway without acknowledging him. I saw him flip me off when I was walking inside. The car waited a minute then sped off. My friend told me it could have been important and I was being inconsiderate. Was I? Edit. Everyone who responded thank you so much for being so nice. I really appreciate what you're saying. Update. I am no longer friends with the person who called me inconsiderate for staying safe. NTA. In this day and age. Everyone has a cell phone. If he truly needed something. There are a thousand other ways he could have found the answer. Your safety is more important than being polite. NTA. This is exactly how I want my teenage daughter to handle that situation. He was an asshole anyway since he flipped you off. Not at all. A man should understand that approaching a woman by herself in a situation like that is going to be met with trepidation, as it should be. NTA. Be rude, stay alive. Maybe write down what you can remember about the car and let the non-emergency line know. Likely it was nothing, but it might not be. Your friend's an idiot. I told my kids that there is absolutely nothing a male or female adult needs a kid's help with. If any adult claims as much, you should run away. I know you're 16 and not little kid anymore. But that same advice applies in almost any situation. I'm 53 and have never needed to ask a random 16-year-old's help with anything. NTA. It was a perfect scenario for an abduction. Good job. Your neighbor, Harley. NTA. You were putting your safety first never stop doing that. NTA let me guess your friend is a guy. Right. Never. Never ever approach a guy calling out to you like this. It's creepy as f. K and there are multiple different ending possibilities most of which have negative outcomes for you. He's lost? He has access to Google Maps or Google. Wants to know where someone is? Not necessarily any of his business. Etc. Etc. You 100% did the right thing xx your safety trumps someone else's need every time. NTA adults don't ask children for help. I know 16 is a weird age where you feel like an adult but you are not. You did the right thing to keep yourself safe. Please do not listen to your friend. NTA that's one of the reasons murderer Ted Bundy was so successful. He would ask women for help. When they were close to him he'd grab them and throw them into his car. NTA you could have been kidnapped. You don't know this person from Adam. Better to be safe than sorry. You did exactly the right thing here. As for your friend, I hope she is still around in the future with her laissez-faire attitude towards strangers. NTA. You did this for your safety. Er underage. I live in a major city. And I have to do this once per day if I walk outside. Not sure what it is about me. That encourages strangers to approach me and think I owe them my time or help. NTA. Listen to your inner voice. It told you to ignore him, not get close. It was keeping you safe. Always listen to it. The guy had a working car. If he needed actual help, he could go to a gas station, police station, fire station etc. NTA. How many times has the social pressure to be nice been the downfall of a woman who went against her instincts? NTA. Safety first if he had a motive other than hitting on you or worse then he could have just yelled out his question after the initial, excuse me. NTA. Your friend is wrong. 
I guess she wants you to be abducted. That's how Ted Bundy got his victims by asking women if they could help him. NTA NTA Women have been kidnapped, assaulted, and murdered just like this. If he's 20, he probably has a cell phone and he can figure it out on his own. He clearly has a car. Dude is fine. NTA, your friend needs to read up on Ted Bundy. If you're a female alone, I would not feel comfortable going up to a stranger in a car that stops while I'm walking. Especially a man, but even a woman. I've heard of people being kidnapped like that. If that man truly needed help, he could go to a gas station or a store, a police station. He doesn't need to be asking a young girl to come over to his car. That's extremely suspicious. You did just what you should have. You ignored him and went inside. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.